procedures and functions or the sub programs of pla sql these sub programs cannot be executed stand alone it has to be linked with another program and we can execute it this particular programs can't be called from any other program and any number of time we are going to straight away start with learning the procedures and then how to use parameters in the procedures then in another chapter we are going to learn what is function is whenever we want to create a procedure the command is create or replace or replace is optional whenever we want to replace the existing procedure with the same name then we can use replace if at all we don't want to replace the current procedure and we want to create a new procedure then we have to mention only create so create or replace procedure p p is the procedure name yes and i'm going to here creating a local variable called ex using number of three without initializing any value then begin is the beginning of procedure body here i am going to say select count star into x from test m it goes to the test m table and find out how many records are there that number will be stored in x so x stores the number of records available in test m after that i am going to print this value using dbms output dot put underscore line x end so this simple procedure program is over this program doesn't need any value from outside the procedure and it is not going to print any value or send back any value from the procedure to the calling program so this procedure is not having any parameter after writing this particular program when you type slash it will say that procedure created with the name p but if at all i want to execute this procedure then i have to go to the sql statement and type that execute p this will execute the procedure and display the output for seeing the output of this procedure program again we have to type set server output on so that it will display the output of this program similar to the anonymous block we have another method also for executing this procedure this procedure can be called from some other program if at all we don't want to use execute we can go to begin we can write anonymous program and straight away we can call this procedure p with a semicolon and then end once you execute this particular program this will call this procedure and find out number of records in the test m table and it will be printed so this procedure it doesn't have any parameter for example this procedure wants some value from outside to proceed in this particular procedure for example i want a employee id from the calling program and i want to find out what is his salary and i want to print it so if i want to do that then i can go for a procedure i can go for a parameter here the same program i am going to write create or replace procedure p here i am going to use a parameter called a a is a parameter which is going to take a value from a calling program and it is of data type number yes x is another number of 3 or no need to specify the size also we can say x number what i am going to do here is select salary into x from test m where id is equal to a a value we have got from the calling program and it's having a id of a particular person so comparing this particular one i am going to find out what is the salary of this person and the salary will be stored in x and that i am going to print it using dbms output dot put line statement 
but here in a calling program i must have a different way of calling the procedure begin p of 5 or p of 6 semicolon end so 6 will be assigned to the parameter a and that will be compared in the var class and for that particular person i am going to find out the salary and store it in x and i am going to print it the parameter which takes the value from the calling program to the procedure is called as in parameter by default all the parameters are in parameters so i no need to specify whether a particular parameter is in or not even if i don't specify anything automatically the system will assume that a is a in parameter so this is the way it executes but there is another way of uh, another type of parameter is there that is called out parameter this out parameter what it will do is it is going to print the value in the calling program itself for example the same a i am going to show as out parameter i am not going to have any local variable here in this program and what i am going to do is i am going to store the salary in a from test m where id is equal to 6 and dbms dot output statement i am not going to keep it in this procedure what i am going to do is i am going to write the program like this begin uh, be before that whenever we are using out parameter it must be declared in the calling program declare for example x test underscore m dot salary percentage type so x is a local variable and out variable of type testm dot salary begin p of x and here i am going to use dbms output dot put underscore line and i am going to print x value in the calling program we are not assigning any value to x but we are just passing this x value to the procedure in procedure it takes a as the out parameter so it will not expect any value from the calling program since it's a out parameter what i am doing inside the procedure is i am identifying the salary of a particular employee whose id is 6 and store it in a that's all i am doing this particular value which i stored in a will be reflected in x so when i print dbms output dot put line it is going to print the salary of the employee whose id is 6 this is the advantage of using out parameter so whenever you want to use in parameter and out parameter we can create it separately if at all this in parameter and out parameter both are having a same data type then we no need to create two different parameters all these things can be combined into a single parameter itself for example i am going to do the same thing create or replace procedure p a a is a in out number so what i am going to do is select salary into a from test m where id is equal to a when I call this particular one, declare x testm dot salary percentage type begin x colon equal to 6. So x value is 6 now. Since a is a in parameter, this procedure will expect a value from a calling program the value which i am assigning from the calling program is 6 so here i am using the var condition to check a particular id using the in parameter where id is equal to 6 and i am selecting the salary of that particular person and store it in the same parameter called a and that particular salary i am going to print it in the calling program in the dbms statement dbms output dot put underscore line within that i am going to print the statement 
in all the three examples i have used a single parameter if at all i want to use more than one parameter in a program that is also possible like a in out number comma b number comma c where char 2 like that i can use more than one parameter in a same program so this is the end of procedure thank you